How's it going? This is Helbenta, and today I'm going to be releasing my uh, 10 in 1 auto clicker to the general public. Um, I had released it a couple of months ago just to subscribers, but uh, it's been about three or four months now, so I'm going to release it to the general public and uh, anyone who wants it. You don't have to be a subscriber to get it. So here's the auto clicker. I'm not going to go into all the features of it for this demo, but I'm just going to do a quick setup. Um, so I'm just going to go through the options I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out on your own so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going doing all that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn all the auto clickers on and I'm gonna take my fake buttons and select them as where I'm gonna click this uh, this auto clicker is designed to be a sequence auto clicker so I have like a sequence of uh, uh, click locations that I want to have um, if this isn't what you need like if you're looking for something that clicks anywhere you want or only clicks uh oh, I pushed the wrong one if you uh <clears throat> if you want it to follow your curse click wherever you move your cursor I have better ones on my home channel so be sure to check those out this one's designed for this task and it does this task well all right so I'm gonna set each of these auto clickers to click 100 times before it moves on to the next location and here I'll just copy and paste so it'll be a total of a thousand clicks and then I'm gonna have it loop through these ten times so it'll be a total of ten thousand clicks in total so it's a thousand clicks per per uh, loop and I'll have it loop ten times alright I think I have um, one thing normally you're gonna to want to set a little bit of delay in between clicks so this if I if I set a turn this on and I set a, a time here in milliseconds it'll be a delay in between each one of these clicks so it'll have it'll click delay click delay click delay you're gonna to want to set like 22 33 milliseconds for most things uh, depending on what it is you're not gonna to want to have it going as fast as I'm gonna have it because most applications they can't handle the speed in fact even paint is gonna have a hard time paint isn't even going to be able to keep up with it so you're going to see it put a yellow dot here and then the rest of them you're not going to see that yellow dot until a couple of seconds after it's done all right so 10,000 clicks here we go and I can see current loop count two three that's 3,000 clicks that's 4,000 clicks 5,000 clicks so it's a little over a second per thousand clicks so almost a thousand clicks per second and there we go it's done so now we're gonna wait and the yellow dot should show up after a while come on show up yellow dot takes a while okay anyways like I said oh there there um like I said this is specifically designed for being a 10 in 1 auto clicker if you have another task that you need uh, some of the other ones if you have a one location only one button that you want to click I have another one that'll just click on that and then if you move your cursor away it'll stop so you don't have to constantly pause your auto clicker you can just as soon as you start getting close to it it'll snap into that position and then start clicking I have another one where you can set a area of the screen and if you move your cursor inside of that area it'll start clicking if you move it outside of that area it'll stop I have random clickers I, I have tons of auto clickers it's one of the things I do anyways uh, hope you'll enjoy and I'll see you on the next one